Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I make my gelatin cake. It's a favorite of mine because it's so simple to make and you do not require any skill for it. So without wasting any time, let's get started. I'll be using gelatin and I bought my flan base from the store but if you choose to bake yours, it's just basically eggs, flour, sugar and water and set it aside in your fridge for about two days before using it so for my toppings i'll be spreading strawberry jam bananas and strawberry fruit so you can always choose any fruits of your choice or even different fruits so to start off i'm going to spread my jam on my base this helps to give you that flavor and of course helps uh, to avoid your gelatin mixture soggy your cake Once you are done and every corner has been covered, go ahead to add in your fruits. There's no particular order of placing your fruits, so you can just do them however you want. Once you're done with your fruits, let's prepare the gelatin mixture. And the reason why we were doing the fruits first is because once the mixture is ready, it should go on your fruits immediately. So prepare your fruits first on your cake. So for 12 grams of gelatin, I added a quarter liter of water. You can also use fruit juice if you want to. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar so i chose to do two tablespoons so that it's not too sweet i don't like my cake too sweet so if you want uh, a little bit uh, sweeter then you can add uh, more sugar like maybe three tablespoons but i did two because i also had spread some jam on my uh, flan base so that's why i just chose to do two tablespoons of sugar then add in your gelatin mixture. And stir all your ingredients together. And let it cook for about five, three to five minutes. So start with cold water and let it just cook on medium high heat. And just keep stirring until it comes to a boil. So the mixture has come to a boil, set it aside and let it cool down. Let it cool down and, and it starts thickening up. You can see it's starting to thicken up, but you don't want it also to thicken uh, when you have not set it on your cake. So once the mixture has cooled down, this will help it not to soak your cake. So ensure that your mixture has cooled down. Then add it on your fruits. Ensure every fruit is covered. So take your time. And adding the gelatin mixture on your fruits 
will also help it not uh, to discolor your fruits not to discolor so you can even have your cake for two days to three days your fruits will still be okay so make sure that every corner has been covered And once you are done, set your cake in your fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour. So here is my cake almost an hour later. As you can see, the gelatin has set really well. The fruits, all of them were covered. So this can stay in your fridge even up to two days with no discoloration. So that's perfect. I'll show you a close up as well and let's cut it you can serve your cake with some whipped cream i really love this cake because it's usually so fast so simple and you can never go wrong with it so i hope you did enjoy this video i hope you try this as well if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't and i'll see you on my next one till next time bye bye